What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. For Baltimore in this ball game, you want to force those Steelers linebackers to cover. I think the Ravens have the advantage at the tight end position with Owen Daniel, Grock Kilmore, even at the fullback with Kyle Usyk. I think they can have some success operating one-on-one -on -one versus those Steelers linebackers, so you have to find ways or create ways to get those guys matched up in coverage. And you want to make Big Ben beat the blitz. I think that's how they can have some success versus the Steelers passing game. We know the offensive line is having issues in protecting Ben Roethlisberger. We know the Ravens can provide a lot of pressure in their front seven and I think they have to make Big Ben get rid of that football quickly and they have to find ways to take away Antonio Brown I will be interested to see how they do so whether they bracket him double him try to combo cover him with a backer in the corner or a corner in the safety they have to find ways to make Ben Roethlisberger go to those other targets in the passing game and for the Steelers in this ball game, don't overthink the running game. If Le'Veon Bell can or cannot play, don't get overly creative in trying to find ways to move the football on the ground. Just turn around and hand the ball off to Josh Harris, to Dre Archer, maybe even giving Ben Tate some carries. Don't overthink the running game versus the Baltimore Ravens. And that defensive line has to win the individual battles up front. They got to find ways to play on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. We're going to talk about that later on in the video about these guys getting off blocks and being effective versus the run. And that offensive line and pass protection, they can't have an off date. 33 sacks so far on the season. Again, you can't carry over what you've done in a regular season from a bad perspective into the playoffs. That offensive line has to be able to pick up the blitz. They have to be able to recognize stunts and they have to continue to open up holes in the running game. They've done a great job running the football. Pass pro has been a little iffy, spotty at best, and they have to do a great job versus Baltimore in this ball game. This week versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Baltimore Ravens will have to be able to beat the Blitz. And I'm going to show you how they can do so. Two separate Blitz beaters, uh, depending on what they do with the guy that's covering number two. One, two, three. You want to read the slot guy. And if he comes off a of Blitz, you have your built-in Blitz beaters. You have your shoot route by the tight end. You're going to send your slot guy up the middle of the field. This, uh, I'm sorry, up the seam. You're going to have your outside receiver run the 14-yard comeback. 14, come back to 12 picking up the blitz because if he blitz you want the line, the running back to pick up this blitzer off the edge that way Flacco can get the football out of his hands quickly you have your seam route hopefully pulling the safety clearing space for the corner and this uh, comeback route right there now let's say this guy wants to drop back in zone you have a little time back there in the pocket versus zone so what do you want to do you want to take a shot deep down the field when you have zone coverage so let's say he drops back so what you want to what you want to do is run your wheel with the slot guy. You want to get that safety out of the way. You want to run your tight end right down the seam. Now the safety is in the bind. He has a two-on-one go. Does he trust the corner to hold his own one-on-one -on, -one on the outside? If so, he's going to take this route right here. And now you have your in route coming right there. And you can leak your back out if you want to. So now you flooded the area to the right side of the formation. Safety's in the bind. You read one, two, three. This is a clear out route. You don't worry about the tight end. He's clearing out space for these two, these three routes to operate. So it's a simple read. Backside, you're going to always have your post. So you, it's a simple read for Flacco, reading the guy that's covering number two. And if he blitzes, it's an easy read. He can either go with the shoot route, make a check at the line of scrimmage, or if it's zone, if he sees zone, then he goes to this play right here that we have drawn up. It's a great way they can be successful versus Pittsburgh. This week versus the Baltimore Ravens, the Pittsburgh Steelers will be without their talented tailback Le'Veon Bell out with a knee injury. So they're going to have to utilize other backs like Dre Archer and also Josh Harris in the backfield. I'm going to show you how they can do so, utilizing both guys at the same time, taking advantage of their skill set versus an aggressive defense in Baltimore. So we're going to put Dre Archer right here in the slot at times. They utilize him as a receiver. And we're going to run a pass play where we're going to read off this backer right here and how aggressive he is coming off the edge. So as the cadence starts to wind down, we're going to work Dre Archer in motion. And once he gets outside leg of the guard, you want to snap the football, fake the read right here, but you're not going to give it anyway. You're just faking a read to get up in there and you're reading this backer. If he squeezes down on his run play, then it's a simple pass because you're throwing the football right here to Dre Archer, dumping it off 
allowing him in space. And how you take away the strong safety so that way he doesn't break camp toward the back, you run the tight end splitting him and the free safety. He's going to have to respect that and get over top that tight end or get a hand on him. You have the receiver running what you want to call maybe a skinny post. So you're clearing out space, but he's really blocking this corner. So if he squeezes down, Roethlisberger will pull the football and dump it off the three archer. And we know he has the speed to make plays in space. Now, let's say this guy doesn't pull and he wants to ride. Let's say he wants to get a good bump on this tight end before he releases out in the route. Now you have the room here for your comeback. So you created space for your comeback. He's sitting in zone. He's going to drop in zone. He's probably going to bust to the back instead of pulling. Boom. Now you have this open right there. So it's an easy read for Ben Roethlisberger. You're utilizing both backs in the backfield at the same time. But nine times out of 10, this guy will come off the edge, try to make a play on the running back. Dre Archer is open, should be able to take it to the house once he gets in space. So this is one way Pittsburgh can utilize both backs, Josh Harris and Dre Archer in the backfield at the same time. The Ravens have to play much better versus the spread, and you'll see right here versus San Diego, they're in either cover four or cover zero versus an empty set. Now up in the slot, you have Ladarius Webb matched up over Keenan Allen, and Allen is gonna run a corner post route, giving Webb a good fake, using his leverage against him for the touchdown. And as we run it, you'll see Webb is playing for the corner the entire way. Now maybe he expected the linebacker to get a deeper drop, but you can't put yourself in a bad spot because of bad technique. You either play the corner if you know you have help to the inside because there's no way you can get those hips around in time to make a play on the ball. And that happened right here on this play and it resulted in a touchdown. Pittsburgh would try to spread out the Ravens to try and attack individual matchups the same way. For Pittsburgh in this game versus Baltimore, it's all about stopping the run, and it starts with the nose tackle, the guy that's playing over the center. In this play is Cameron Haywood. He has to do a better job of beating that block. He can't allow himself to get reached in the running game. That's a four-yard gain right there. Yes, he is part of the tackle, but again, you have to be able to stop that play at or behind the line of scrimmage. Here's a second example. Again, getting off a block is going to be key. If you allow yourself to get reached in the running game, they can run all day on you, and the Ravens will run a lot of outside zone, a lot of inside zone, and if you get reached, it could be a problem. The Steelers have to do a better job of getting off blocks. The biggest X factor for the Steelers in this ball game is an obvious one. It's going to be the running game. And I think they have the talent back there, even without Le'Veon Bell, to get the job done if he can't go or if he's not 100%. Dre Archer and Josh Harris, two rookies, I believe, are excellent talents, and they can utilize both to success because they have to find some way to operate off balance. They can't make this a Ben Roethlisberger versus Joe Flacco game, and I think the ground game can have success versus Baltimore. They just have to be willing to stick with their plan, stick with the script, and give those guys a football. The biggest X factor for the Ravens in this game will be their ability to play pass defense versus that Steelers passing game. When you look at the last matchup, Ben Roethlisberger threw six touchdown passes, and although I believe that was an anomaly, they've had issues matching up versus the Steelers receiving core. That's both receivers and tight ends and also backs out in the flat. So when you look at the pass defense for Baltimore, they're going to have to communicate better. They're going to have to make those individual plays in space in order to have a chance to knock off the Steelers. I'm going with Baltimore in this ball game. I love the way they're able to run the football, and I think they'll have success running the football versus Pittsburgh, which only opens things up for Joe Flacco in that play-action passing game. I think they'll be able to attack the second and third levels of the Steelers' secondary. They're vulnerable back there, and I think that's where the Ravens will attack. And defensively, I think they'll be able to get pressure on Ben Roethlisberger without a healthy Le'Veon Bell. They'll just play the run on the way to the quarterback. They won't necessarily be able to match up one-on-one -on -one versus the Steelers' receivers, but I think the pressure within that front seven will be enough to where those guys on the back end won't have to worry about that moving forward. So I like Baltimore to knock off the Steelers at home. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Raven fan forums and Steeler fan forums for always showing football game plan support.